Hello everybody, um, welcome to Join Crates. I'm going to show everybody what I keep in my Crown Royal bag. Anyone from Canada will know what this is about. Anyways, <laughs> this is the bag that I keep in my purse, um, or my bag. And I usually keep it out near the TV so I can sketch as well. Um, so first things first, I have a Stadler um, pencil sharpener. It has a separate place for graphite and color and then graphite. I'm assuming so that the color doesn't get on your normal graphite pencils. Um, anyways, it keeps all the little shreds of uh, pencil down there. Um, I keep a kneadable eraser. I also keep these um, binder clips. They help keep stuff down if I need to. I also keep a metal ruler. Uh, this blue colorase pencil. Uh, it's Prismacolor. I find these are handy. Um, these are handy when you're going to ink over things because they seem to just sort of disappear and they erase easily as well. Um, I use these Stadler Mars Lumograph pencils. Um, I have a whole bunch of them. I'm not really super picky over what kind of art pencils I use. I have Oh, what is this? A uh, Uniball Signo pen. Um, these are just ones that I get from Walmart. Uh, I like these um, just for writing in my bullet journal. Um, this is a white jelly roll. Um, you get these off of Amazon in a pack of three, usually. Um, and all the links will be down below for all the things that I'm mentioning in here. Um, these are good for making white highlights on, or, or highlights that you've lost on watercolor or ink. Oh, this, this is a Copic Multiliner in a 0 0.5. Um, I really, really like these. Um, I was using uh, Sharpie markers and Pigma microns, but I do find these are really nice and they're refillable, so yeah, I might look into getting a set of those. Uh, so this is a Pigmon Micron in a, uh, what color is that? I forget what color it is. It's a brown though. Anyways, and that's nice when you just don't want to have a black line. And I like using these Faber-Castell Pit uh, pens. It's a soft brush. Um, they're nice and quick. And I still use a Sharpie marker pens. Um, they're good, they're permanent. I like using them in my bullet journal. Uh, these two are my Fudenosuke pens that are made by Tombow. Um, they're really nice because depending on the pressure you can get more thicks and thins with them. I really really like them. Um, they add a little bit of variety instead of being a flat solid line. And the same with this, but this is much thicker. And I did a video on this before. Uh, the Pentel brush pens. These are really nice and they're supposed to be refillable. I have a feeling you're just taking the plastic end off and putting it on. I haven't done it yet, but I probably will. So. And these are some of the colored ones that I like to keep in my uh, pencil case. So these are mild liners. Um, they're really good for highlighting and they have really nice colors uh, if you don't want that traditional like fluorescent color. They do have a few colors like that but I do like that they have more variety and I use these in my bullet journal. I also like these Tombow 
they're water-based, and you can add water and do certain techniques with them that would be more like, that would more look like watercolor. Um, but these are also good. Here, I'll open one. They have the brush end at one end, so if you're into calligraphy, they're really nice for that, and they have a bullet nib. I use these majority of the time in my bullet journal, but I do like having the gray if I want a quick lay of gray in my sketchbook. It's it's pretty nice to use. I, I sometimes use these also in my sketchbook just because they're quick and they're on hand. Um, but yeah, this is basically what I have in my bag for art supplies and for bullet journal supplies that I keep with me all the time. Um, thanks for showing up today and tune in next week for my next video. Like and subscribe down below. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.